guys welcome back to my channel my name is Leslie well I know I have been MIA for a while and I'm really sorry but I'm back and I have to be somewhere at 6 so we're about to make this a quick video so in um, today's video we're gonna be trying out guys yes Okay, so I had ordered it initially when it first launched and it came broken. Um, I did get a refund and I got a new one and I just got it a few days ago. Um, I also got his setting powder, his concealer, where is it, sorry, his concealer. I'm going to out while I do my full face quick. I already did, I already primed, I moisturized, I put foundation on my favorite here, the uh, Maybelline 24 Hour Stay in the shade 130 buff beige so that's what i'm using uh, as foundation today we're gonna get going and we're gonna start it out um because we have a few places to be in like two hours so oh i also got i got a mirror <laughs> in black of course okay so we're gonna go ahead and get this um concealer on it is in the shade c19 you guys i cannot get over this packaging at all so let's apply this quick okay so they didn't have very many shades left so let's just hope it's not too dark <laughs> okay so far so good it's just literally the same color as my foundation. Sorry, I got a hair. So, it's not going to be highlighting too much, but I mean, it's okay. We can always add a lighter shade of um, concealer that I have in my, my kit. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to take my LA Girl sponge. You guys, it looks so flawless on the skin. Here, let me grab, hold on. It's the same color as my foundation because I didn't have a lighter shade with yellow undertones for me because my undertones are yellow. So there was a really light shade, but it was like a pinky undertone. And I know that wouldn't work because I have yellow undertones. So I'm going to go in with a Born This Way porcelain. But just like a dab, just to like highlight just a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, that added a little bit of highlight, which is nice. I still am loving how this concealer is so good. Oh, I'm just so sad that it didn't have my shade. I'm putting some to prime my lids here on my... Because I don't really use eyeshadow primer. I sometimes use the MAC Paint Pot, but... I usually use concealer okay uh, there is that my eyebrows look crazy okay so we're gonna go ahead and get uh, into the star setting powder the magic powder I got the shade in banana because again they didn't have the lighter shade of this so but it's okay some spilled out already we're just gonna it's closed but some spilled out already so I'm just gonna toss some of that in there this is what it looks like okay it's a little dark but I think it I think it should work. I'm going to take a different sponge. This is a sponge from Real Techniques. I'm kind of nervous that it's going to make it dark. Well, we're just going to go in. It darkened up the concealer a little bit. It's fine. We can fix it. We're just going to keep going. It darkened up my concealer, which kind of sucks, but that is my fault because I ordered the shade Banana, and I even said to myself, it might be too dark. But, I mean, it's setting everything really good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take some on my 101 brush from e.l.f. As you guys know, this is my favorite favorite brush and I'm going to take whatever is left in the cap and I'm going to swirl it around and I'm just going to press that into the skin. So 
So the skin looks pretty good so far. Besides the shades, I mean, other than that, it looks really velvety soft. So this is what it looks like. So far, so good. I mean, I will be ordering this again, just in a lighter shade. And the Jeffree Magic Star will be going into my kit to use, like, on deeper skin kinds that I have. Also, with his concealer, it is too dark, but I love the formula and how it made my under eyes look. Holy moly. So good. So I'll be putting that in my kit as well to use with future clients. And I'm, gonna, I'm hoping that he um, restocks soon on some of the lighter shades so that I can get my hands on my actual shade. Okay, so um, I'm going to go and do the rest of my base makeup because Jeffree Star does not have a bronzer yet. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and do that quick and I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So I got brows on, obviously, and I got some blush, contour, and bronzer on. <laughs> All right, it's time for, obviously, my favorite part. <laughs> Highlight. And I got one of his Supreme Frost, and this one's Frozen Peach. Y'all already know that my favorite kind of blushes are peachy, goldeny colors. And this is what it looks like. So I hear he has the most amazing highlight um, formulas out there. So we're going to see it. And it wouldn't be a Jeffree Star cosmetic tryout on testing first impressions without his little brush set. So I'm taking his um, highlighting brush. I don't think it was. Oh, uh, JS4. Right on the star. Okay, so I got that, and let's get her on. Oh, oh my god, that's so pretty. Okay. Um. Guys, this highlighter is so beautiful. Okay, so we got everything highlighted. Now it's time to dig into eyeshadow. <sighs> so I actually have the one that came broken um, on the display over there, and now I have one for myself. <laughs> you guys. Can we please just like, aw, all together? Aw. <laughs> Okay, so I do have somewhere to be today, and um, I will be just using like the more neutrally colors. And when I come back, I will film a short uh, tutorial or another look using it as well after we come back. Because I have to look a little bit, you know, like not too uh, out there. So we're going to take one of his brushes here, his JS6 brush here, and we're going to go into the shade Celebrity Skin. And I think that's the shade, yep, I have the shade a Celebrity Skin of the Lippy 2 that we'll be using today. So we're going to go ahead and dip into that, and we're just going to knock that into the crease. I am getting my Essence Blending, my Eye Blender brush too, and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of more of that Celebrity Skin, and I'm just gonna knock it in the crease again. And then we're gonna go into Untouchable here. It's like a pinky. Oh, look how bright that is, holy, holy mackerel. And then I just tap it in and we'll blend it out with the other brush. We're gonna take a little bit of cremated here. Cremated this one right here. Just on the outer corner. And then I'm going to take that eye blender again with Celebrity Skin and a little bit of cremated. And we're going to go ahead and blend her out. There. Now, I, before. 
before I put the lid shade on, I think I'm going to darken it up just a tiny bit here with, what shade did I just dip in? Uh, under Tinker. Done. The most chillest eye makeup I've done in such a long time. I'm taking the Undertaker shade right here and just knocking it under. And I am 421. And I'm going to take Crystal Flesh. Ooh. And I'm just going to apply. Okay guys, this is the look that I came up with. It's a very light blue look and it looks pretty good. Oh, so beautiful. It's very like chill, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to apply lashes and um, mascara and I will be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so I went ahead and did some mascara. I don't think I'm going to put any lashes on, but I did want to come back to do my lips. So I just recently launched the gloss and I got the shade Legends only. Sorry, it was kind of small. I couldn't read. So I'm going to go ahead and apply celebrity skin first. Oh, it smells like root beer. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to take Legends Only and uh, top it off. Oof. What do you think, guys? <laughs> So this is the finished look. Okay, so we have to get going to my mother-in-law's house because she, um, we're going to do a dinner for my little brother um, for his 19th birthday tomorrow. And um, this is what I'm going to look like when we're going over there. I'm When we come back and get all situated, I will do another look with the Blue Bloods palette because I really want to do a halo eye with this. Beautiful puppy right here. So we will go ahead and do that, and um, I'll probably put some lashes on with that look, but with this look, I like like this. This is really chill and relaxed. Um, okay, so um, yeah, I will see you in a little while. Hi right, guys, I'm back with a fresh face, no eyeshadow, no nothing. Okay, so I know I was supposed to come back and film after I was done with my little brother's birthday his like little birthday party that we did we got home at like 11 30 almost 12 and it was late i was like you know what i'll just i'll film tomorrow so now it's tomorrow i'm back to you guys it's just like one second to another but to me it's like an entire day <laughs> but it's okay so we're going to go ahead and play with a little bit of a uh, jeffree star blue bloods and i did promise you guys a very dramatic look and that's what i'm gonna do I want to play with the blues and like I really want to put this one on my lid really bad. Um, what shade is this? Ocean Ice. 
I just don't, I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. I want to put Ocean Ice, which is this one right here. And look at that, guys. Beautiful, I know. Okay, so we're going to go into Blue Blood right here. Blue Blood is this one right there with the little crown. <sighs> They're a little... There's some kickback, but not too much to worry about. And we're going to rock that in the crease. When you look at when someone is doing their eyeshadow, you're just like, dude, insane. I'm taking a clean uh, Wet n Wild blending brush. And I'm just going to blend the outside just to make it a little more seamless. Now we're going to darken up the inner and outer corner. And we're going to use the JS6 here. And I know some of these have shimmer, but I'm just going to... We're going to go into Deceased here, and we're going to put that in the inner and outer. Should I do Deceased? No, you know what? I'm going to go into Blue Monday here. This one right here. And we're going to put that in the inner and outer corner. So as you can see, I am slowly building and blending that out into the crease. So we're blending, we're, we're packing and blending, packing and blending, and look at this. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same to the other eye, and I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, so I'm back. I got that all blended on the other eye, and it's uh, looking pretty good so far. I think we're going to take Undertaker here, the darker blue, darker charcoal blue, I think. That's what you want to call it. <sighs> We're going to do that in the inner and outer corner just to darken that up because for the halo eye, you always want to have the darkened inner corner, darkened inner corner and outer corner. Now I'm going to do the same on the other eye. I'll be right back. Now that we have the deeper color placed, it looks very like not blended. So we're going to go in into Blue Monday here and we're going to tap a little bit on the blending brush and we're going to go ahead and blend that out. You see the difference from blended to not blended? Yeah. Blending is key. There you are.
I'll be right back. Okay, so it's all blended out seamlessly, of course. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease to lay down the color. I'm gonna take a little bit of my concealer that I used, which today is actually the Too Faced Born This Way concealer because the um, Jeffree Star concealer that I got is too dark for me, so I couldn't use it under the eye and to highlight and stuff. But, so you, you you fucking know that I will be getting another one. Okay, so, sheesh. So you're gonna take a flat brush and I am taking the Morphe M421 here and you're going to put it on the lash line here. Just like that and then you'll look up and around and that should tell you where your cut crease should end. Just like that, looks good. Now, we're going to put, what shade are we gonna put on the lid? Okay, we are going to put Ocean Ice here, the blue that I was telling you I really wanted to use today, which is this sparkly blue right here. We're going to put that one, and you're just gonna get a uh, flat brush here. This one's already stained with blue, which is <laughs> convenient. And you're gonna pick some up, and you're going to tap it on the outer part of your cut crease or your halo eye cut crease. Now with the same um, M421 brush, I'm going to pick up Colonin, Colonan, Colonan. It's like a icy white here in a corner. And I'm gonna pick it up with my brush here. And I'm gonna mix in Entitled down here. And that is going to put get put right up here. Just like that, and you're gonna take a little more of ocean ice, and that's gonna help blend everything together. Now, let's bring a little light into it. Now that we got pretty much all the colors that you want to use for that um, halo eye, you're going to take just Colonan, Colonan, Colonan I think it's what it's called, and you're going to put that right in the center. just to brighten it up. Down the middle, just like that. Perfect. Now, this is what it looks like. And a white eyeliner here from NYX. Mix that up a little bit. And to define this cut crease, since it is very blue, we're going to line where the cut crease is, okay? Just like that. Perfect, right? <laughs> okay, let, I'm going to do the other eye off camera real quick and I will be right back. 
Okay, guys, I'm back. I did that, and it's uh, looking pretty good. So I'm going to take a brush here. I'll take this BH Cosmetic Number no. 5 Aurora Lights Collection brush. Ooh. And I'm going to go into Blue Bloods here. We're going to do the under eye now. You know, I just realized I still have fake on my face. So we're going to take that color. And like I was saying... Okay, and then we're going to take um, Blue Monday. There we go. So um, most of it is done. We're going to do mascara and lashes. The mascara I'll be using today is my NARS mascara. What is it called? Climax mascara. And okay, so I recently found out about these dodo lashes here. Um, this is what they look like. Sorry, they're like right there, but here. How do I? Oh yeah. There we go. And this is what they look like. You guys, they look so nice. So you know I got them in bulk. Hopefully they're good enough for me to be able to buy them in bulk. So I bought them in bulk and this is the style D119. Look at that. It's gonna look so good with this eye. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that quick and um, I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I applied my lashes and I really like how this look came out. Um, I also applied my Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in the shade Celebrity Skin. And I put Legends Only, uh, the gloss, on top. Okay, so what do you guys think? This is the look and this is the eye look that I um, did with the Blue Bloods palette. So, that's what I came up with. Um, I know it's not like, you know, super out there, but it is a very wearable blue look. And I could see myself wearing this out, you know what I mean? Okay, well, this is the final look that we have with the Blue Bloods palette and full face of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I did get um, the Jawbreaker collection ordered for you guys, and I will be doing a review of that one as well. Um, it should be here soon, uh, you know, with the launching. Um, he does get a little behind because there's so much to uh, do and get ready for that and ship and so many orders at once. But it is coming, I promise. Well, uh, let me know what you guys think about the look. I love how it came out. Um, well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, let me know what you guys think and what you guys want to see. Well, um, I forgot to give my final thoughts. Everything that I used for Jeffree Star Cosmetics, everything that I used for him, plus the Blue Bloods palette, is amazing. I am very sad I didn't get the setting powder in my shade. As you know, it was a little dark. Um, so it darkened up the concealer that I had on. The concealer I got was exactly the same shade as my foundation. So I can use it to spot conceal. I can use it... Um, under my foundation to spot conceal anything if I need a little bit more um, coverage but um, other than that the powder and the concealer will be going into my traveling makeup kit because I am a freelance makeup artist of course so that will be going in my kit the gloss and the liquid lip together you guys love it this is like my go to combination now um, okay well I think that was it um, let me know if you guys have any requests to see some videos in the future, what you guys want to see. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful night or day if you're watching it in the daytime. Bye, guys.